Hey Capricorn, hope you guys are all doing really well. So welcome to your general love reading for mid-April to the end of April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs if you would like, or you can book a personal reading with me, and you can find all that information in the description box. If you would like a cord cutting session, please just email me and I will send you all the information about that. I do have a discounted price for a limited time, which also includes an Earthbound Spirit release segment, as well as um, a 30 minute video with feedback and information about the session and your cord. All right, so Capricorn, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of April, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And please keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Capricorn. Main situation, we have the Hierophant crossed by the Ace of Cups. Okay, so Taurus energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, so there is a spiritual connection here that you have with somebody. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's really, really strong, especially with this Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love here, but it's like either somebody is not acknowledging this or um, is just having a hard time really accessing the level, the level of um, spirituality in this connection or the level of unconditional love that exists here. Hmm. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Five of Cups, the Emperor, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so yeah, there's been a lot of sadness here. There's been a sense of loss, a lot of grief. Um, I do feel like this is something you're coming out of. Um, because I feel like you're, you're really beginning to take control and stand in your power, taking charge of your own life and possibly even beginning to um, explore other connections. We'll see. Or at least being open to that idea or just being more social possibly. Because um, I feel like you, you've you been going through a phase where it was just really, really difficult. Maybe you were like self-isolating as you were grieving. Um, for them, we have the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. All right, really interesting. This person, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of love here. Um, this person definitely has a lot of love for you, feels a lot of emotions. Um, I do see them, it feels like they're kind of in this energy of just keeping things friendly, possibly because, like I said, it feels like they're having a hard time um, really accepting the strength of this connection and so it's easier for them to just keep things more friendly but then again it's moving more towards towards romantic let's see potential outcome here we have the page of pentacles okay so yeah i mean i do see this person coming back to the fact that there are emotions here but it feels like you know the um the energy that they're going to give to this is a little bit small for now. Let's clarify. But it is something, all right, with that Page of Pentacles. It is something, and I feel like, you know, they are learning something here. And especially with that Hierophant, that does also talk about higher learning. So I feel like the, the main lesson here, for the other person at least, is a lesson on unconditional love. And just in love, overall. Um, learning about their own emotions and what it is that they truly want and coming to terms with that. So let's see, let's clarify the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups. And we have the King of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. What is it with this Five of Cups? I feel like it, I've been, just keep seeing it. Um, and like every reading, um, So yeah, it's a slow progress. It's, um, there is progress here, all right? But it's, it's a little bit slow. It's like investing a little bit, just giving a little bit of energy to this. Um, 
And it's like because of that, because it's just a little bit, it's like really avoiding the full blown Ace of Cups here, there's sadness. And I feel like it's the same, um, it's kind of like the same for you. It's like there's this lack of, or it's feeling like there's this lack of this person coming in as this King of Wands, like really expressing this passion and just taking control and just owning, owning these emotions. Um, there's a lack of that and it's like it's not yielding results. And so there's this grief, there's this sadness. on both sides. Okay, so let's see for your energy. Let's see that Five of Cups. All right, the Page of Pentacles showing up again and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so you're feeling sad because there's a part of you that feels betrayed here. Um, you feel betrayed by having only received this page of pentacles energy, just one little, you know, pentacle. Again, this is, there's something that you're learning through this though. There's something that you're learning through this and I feel like, you know, it, it was difficult for you to see that because you were processing that grief really feeling that pain. Um, so it's almost like avoiding, you know, what what your soul was trying to get you to learn. But like I said, you're coming out of that. You're not in that. I don't feel like you're in that energy anymore. I feel like that's more of a um, recent past energy for you. Let's see the emperor. The queen of cups and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, see, that's changing. That is changing. So if this hasn't shifted for you yet and you still are feeling in this kind of an energy here, like feeling that depression, know that it's shifting, okay? Um, I feel like you're beginning to become more compassionate with your own self, possibly even forgiving of the other person without that meaning that you, you know, accept being mistreated or anything like that. No, um, I'm not saying that at all and you shouldn't do that if that's the case for you. Um, you're just, the forgiveness is for your own self. Um, but there's a shift here. There's a shift in how, you know, emotional you may have been. But as a Capricorn, I feel like you also sometimes tend to cover up that emotional part of you. Um, and that could even be part of, you know, you just kind of avoiding that lesson, like not wanting to really, really, you know, deal with the pain. But again, you're coming out of that. You're allowing yourself to feel, basically. And because you're allowing yourself to feel, that's why there's a shift here. And you're able to take control of this. Because as long as you don't acknowledge something, you know, you can't fully um, get control over it. So I'm glad to see that you are um, definitely moving towards that Three of Cups energy, which is more um, light, able to enjoy, um, you know, other things in life. Yeah, clarified by the sun. Wow. And the Knight of Wands. Yes. So you're quickly moving towards um, the sun, basically. This is also Leo energy. Um, it's like you're you're coming out of depression. You're beginning to see the positives. So I'm seeing this as you also being able to acknowledge not only how you felt, but also um, acknowledging the lesson, learning that lesson, being able to see it. And because you're seeing it, you're able to apply it and things just are you know, um, becoming so much easier, so much lighter for you. So again, I feel like for a lot of you, this is also going to be, you know, being able to enjoy um, other connections, whether they be friendships or love or whatever. For some of you, this could even be, you know, um, wanting to maintain some kind of a friendship with this person and being okay with that. At least for now. 
All right, so let's see. Let's see for them. Let's see this Two of Cups. And we have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. All of these cards, this is all talking about commitment, love, union, coming together. This person is definitely feeling this connection with you. Like I said, there's a lot of love here. I mean, this person is feeling it like, <laughs> like there's no tomorrow, wow. Um, so I don't know, let's see, what is the issue here? So, let's see, three of pentacles, we have, ooh, the ten of wands, and the page of cups. Something is feeling to them very, very, um, heavy. I don't I feel like it, it's, I'm going to go back to what I was saying. I feel like it might have to do with how they feel. Like the fact that they feel so strongly about you feels very heavy to them. And this is why they're trying to keep things more, um, friendly. Either that or they're feeling this, like, like this would come with so much responsibility. And they don't know if they could carry that responsibility. Hmm. But the emotions are there. That's the thing. Let's see the Knight of Cups. The Tower and the Three of Swords. Yeah, okay, so this person is definitely feeling like, you know, um, they're, it's like they're trying to maintain some kind of a communication with you because they have these emotions um, that are so strong. Wow, it's like, the, I mean, they really want this commitment. Maybe you were even in a very, like, a, a, a more solid commitment and you know, they may have, you know, kind of freaked out about the intensity or even the responsibility that they may have felt with this. Um, but they're, they're moving towards, they're going to have some kind of a crisis here. I feel like this person is coming in as this Knight of Cups. Um, like, kind of like wanting to bring it back to being more romantic, but because it's not 100%, and you're picking up on the fact that it's not a hundred percent. I feel like you're not really um, accepting this, and that's why they're going to feel that pain. They're going to have this tower because they're they're going to feel heartbroken. Because it's like this person was trying to keep it friendly, and so you worked hard to like process that, right? They pulled away, and then they come back. Not 100%, what? Just as you're like finally coming to terms with that, so you're not about to accept that. So now it's like you're the one being like, no, no, you know, like we're just friends. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's going to create some kind of a crisis for them um, that I feel is going to be very, very eye opening to them. It's going to create a huge tower with a lot of pain. So yeah, that's why we have the Page of Pentacles as the potential outcome, at least for the time being. Let's see that. We have the Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you pretty much being like, you know what, like, I'm standing confident now, like, I'm feeling good now, so I'm not about to accept this knight of cups like you want the freaking king of cups um you want the emperor you want them to be to be very very solid in the in their offer if you are even to consider it and so you're setting up boundaries like you want things to be completely different you want the you know the full nine yards with this ace of pentacles you want this path to a commitment to be completely open and very secure. 
Um, so until then, it's like, you're just like, no, you know, we're just going to stay friends. But again, there's a lot of learning through this. That's like the main point here. There's a lot of learning for you, and I feel like you are learning that lesson. Um, and I feel like it does have to do with you setting up your boundaries, and they're learning their lesson as well. All right, Capricorn, if this resonated with you, please do give me a thumbs up and let's see the final message for you, if it did. And we have distant thunder, clear the air. Yeah, and I feel like this is all, <laughs> this is that tower happening for them and you're being called to clear the air by set, setting your boundaries, basically. Like letting them know where you stand. So, yeah, um, and who knows what might follow after that. So Capricorn, those are your messages. I thank you so, so much for watching and much love. Bye.